So for this question then, we're given this expression here and asked to approximate it then for small values of theta, where theta is measured in radians. Now you should be familiar with this result, that for small values of theta, when theta is measured in radians, sine theta is approximately the same as theta, and cosine theta is approximately the same as 1 minus theta squared all over 2. So what I'm going to do here is just replace the theta with 4 theta when it comes to using cosine of theta, this approximation here. So we've got on the top here 1 minus, then I'll put in square brackets here, what we've got, which will be 1 minus, and in place of that theta then we write 4 theta, and it's the 4 theta that is squared, and that's all divided by 2. I'll just close off that square bracket there. And then in the denominator here, we've got 2 theta, and in place of sine 3 theta, I just replace the theta here with 3 theta. So it's going to be 2 theta times 3 theta. So it's just a question of simplifying this. So we've got 1 minus 1, so that goes out, and we've got minus minus there, so that's a plus value. So you've got 4 theta squared, that's 16 theta squared, divided by 2, so you're going to get 8 theta squared on the top. In the denominator, 2 theta times 3 theta, 6 theta squared. And you can cancel this down, the 6 and the 8 can be divided by 2, so that's 4 and a 3. The theta squareds cancel themselves out, and you're left then with just simply 4 thirds. Okay?